what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video for you all on uh, some dark elixir farming, a uh, little strategy that I've been uh, working on. But first, I want to let you guys know that Galadon, or Clash of Clans Attacks, on YouTube posted some raids that I did on his account when we were over in Finland. Um, they're interesting. They're interesting to say the least. I'd never raided on a fully maxed out base and I'd never really raided fully maxed out bases either. Um, so head over to his channel. The link will be in the description down below guys. Uh, head over to his channel if you all want to watch that. Again, that's Clash of Clans Attacks or just YouTube Galadon and you'll find it, alright? Um, I'm really happy that he did that. He posted those. It's been interesting. He's got a whole series going on with all of us YouTubers over there. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting for, uh, for all of us to see everything else. But definitely make sure that you guys head over to his channel once again. That is Galadon or Clash of Clans Attacks. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an attack that I just had. Um, <clears throat> so I, I want to stay in the range that I'm at right now. I don't want to climb too much. Um, and you can see this guy has 1700 uh, dark elixir right here and I was dumb enough to drop all those giants before I dropped the wall breakers to get them in there but if I dropped the, the wall breakers first it would have gone a little bit better but we still had no hitch with this so it was fine um, I'm gonna drop that rage spell not that <laughs> that heal spell right there on those giants and then we're gonna drop a lightning spell as well on all these troops as they bully our giants um, we're gonna drop off some of our wizards and our archers and we're slowly gonna start clearing out the buildings and then we're gonna drop off all of our archers right there you're gonna see that they are start they are working their way towards the inside of the base um, I don't believe that we have any more wall breakers no we do not so uh, we are going to have to make our way through the wall but it was already open so that was dumb uh, <laughs> we've got those archers in there a bunch of those giants just went down our king is in there we are about to rage him up and then our queen is over here doing work as well. We got to take out these little skelly traps as well as this healer. And then our queen is going to focus on that dark elixir for us. We're going to use her ability. We are going to take that out. I didn't want to lose her. Uh, so that's why I ended the battle right there. Um, and we got ourselves 1700 dark elixir for a, tr a pretty cheap army composition, honestly. Um, so that went pretty well, but I'm going to go ahead and um, find another attack. So once again, we've got that all trained up. Let's see if we can just request um, some random troops. Uh, random troops, uh, please. And we'll see how those go. Once again, we can look in here and see that we've got 20 giants, 8 wall breakers, 8 wizards, and I just got a P.E.K.K.A. Oh, I got a goblin from Yazoo. <laughs> That's funny. And 92, uh, 92 archers. So you could throw in another wall breaker if you wanted to. But I always do uh, five giants, two wall breakers, and two wizards per, per army camp. And then the rest, um, the rest are archers. So let's go ahead and attack. I'll see if I can find a base that has a good amount of dark elixir like this one that we can get into. Look at that. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Yes, please. I'm going to go ahead and drop down some of these giants right here, um, as well as some of these archers. And then let's go ahead and see if we can um, get them up in here. Uh, I am going to drop a heal spell right there just as they get up in here so that they are fine. I really, really want our, uh, really want our wall breakers to get in there. Um, let's get a rage spell going as well. Those giants are getting absolutely annihilated by that inferno tower. Um, so that heal spell actually isn't going to do too much for us uh, now that I think about it. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll drop our P.E.K.K.A. off as well. Is it going to go in? All right, so the P.E.K.K.A. is going over there to the side, which is fine. I guess I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hopefully it will head. No, P.E.K.K.A., where are you going? No, P.E.K.K.A. Freaking P.E.K.K.A. All right, so we're not going to get any of this Dark Elixir. Got to use the Queen's ability right there and get in there. Please, yes, go after the Dark Elixir. Yes, Queen! Yes, heal, even though you're getting focused. All right, so we were able to still get 2,000 of that Dark Elixir. The P.E.K.K.A., which was donated by whoever you just saw in the video, thank you very much, it ran off to the side. <laughs> but that was my fault because I was rushing and I was scared. Um, should Here's the question. With these lightning spells, uh, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to hit his gold because I'm a jerk. I'm hitting his gold with it. I don't care. I'm hitting the gold. I hit the gold with the lightning spells. That's what I do. <laughs> so we hit those. What are we doing right now? Oh, nice. We'll go ahead and take out the town hall as well so that we can get that loot bonus. But 
Um, again, so the way that you, I, I, the way that I could have handled that attack a little differently, it still went fine because I got the dark elixir that I wanted, or at least I got two thousand of it. Um, <clears throat> the way that I could have handled that differently is if I had a freed spell with me. So um, the last base that I showed y'all, I believe, was a town hall. Nine, I think, it, yeah, it was a Town Hall 9, so there weren't any Inferno Towers. So, um, the way that I would handle this is if I had a free spell, I would have dropped that down, waited on it, and we would have done great, um, because the Giants got taken out super, super quickly by that. Um, that mortar is about to take out those archers, and that is going to be the end of that raid. But as you can see, we got almost 2,000 Dark Elixir, 146,000 gold, some of which came from the Lightning Spell, which is hilarious. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, we're going to train up a free spell this time, no rage, uh, two heals, and um, let's do a jump, we don't want to jump, because we're, we only attack bases where, the, uh, where our queen can get in and shoot at it, so we actually will do a rage and a lightning, um, and then that's boosted, and then again, here we go, this is what I train up with, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2. And let's just go ahead and, um, oop, not barbarians. What the freak am I doing? I said archers. Molt, what are you doing? All right, so we're going to go ahead and train up. I think it's like 24 and 24 and 24 and then 20. Um, so that's how we're going to roll with that. I know I could put a couple more arches in there, whatever. But that is a strategy that I've been using to get Dark Elixir uh, as of recently. You can see that I have 52,000 Dark Elixir, so hopefully we can get our queen up to level 20 soon. I'm going to need to double my Dark Elixir, so I'm going to be doing this strategy a lot out searching for it. Um, definitely try it out, guys. Uh, bring a free spell with you if you're planning on attacking Town Hall 10s. If you're not, then you don't need it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, make sure you go check out that video on Galadin's channel and uh, subscribe to him. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.